In this lesson, I'm going to take these annotations I made in red, identifying elevation points around this site. So at this, along the sidewalk here, elevation is all zero, zero. I'm just going around the building, uh, in calculating from difference um, in elevation from the, you know this measurement to the sill here. So that, that 28 inch from zero zero would be uh, our starting point. So 31 inches is minus three inches. 40 inches is minus one foot. 44 minus one foot four, etc. etc. The lowest point being the 111 inches measure that the valley back, which is about seven feet below zero zero. Oh, great. So I'm going to take these points and transfer them to a, a topography surface in weathered architecture. We'll try to get these both up on the screen at the same time. Uh, okay. Let me quit out of what I was doing. So I'm, I'm at the site plan. I'm going to create a top of surface by uh, identifying elevation points. Top of surface brings me into this sketch edit mode and I'm going to place points as I recorded them here. So I'm going around the building. I'm going to start with point elevation zero zero and say that at that point, that point, that point, that point, right up until we start to turn the corner, are all elevation zero zero. So the first one is minus three inches. I'm going to put that one in there. The next one is minus one. Minus one foot. Place right there. The next one is minus two foot two. And the right one's gonna go there. And the last two are minus four, four. The mountains will go here. And then the minus seven feet is going to go way back here. So. And he's kind of at the very back of the building. So that's going to form the surface. We probably want to enter some points around the boundaries here. So I'm going to go back to this place. Uh, at this outside corner and say that point 
is minus 611. Let us start placing some zero zeros. So these are a little further out. We're seeing all the area around here is at zero zero. Minus one. That's about minus one. Minus four, four. Let me place that out here. That ought to do it. There's enough site data there that we can cut through the earth. So we've we finish the model here and we go to a 3D view. You can see, let's turn on shape something that Right. So all along here is about elevation zero, and then as we go around the model, it gets lower and lower. With the extremities at about the points we measured at each of these uh, points there. And if I cut a section, it duplicates this 3D view. Put on the section box. Let us check the section box here. And when we select one of the outside edges of the box, we can drag it through the model. And that's kind of revealing what is going on in the section. I mean, right? Site. So descends around this side and is uh, fairly level at zero, zero on that side.